seriously, this heat's getting downright unbearable. You coming, Puck? No, actually. I've got no ties to the plot right now. I think I'll go home. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I say we learn about a lot about those mages as long as we follow Brown and that Kuja guy. Then I'm with you. No, you're not. Vagina's with me. Clearer? Sound yummy. I go, it, it does actually sound yummy, doesn't it? If I hear the word clay now, I relate it to sand. Maybe because it's made of sand, or maybe because Clearer's surrounded by something. It's a sandstorm. That's not a spoiler. All right. Some say it lies in a desert west of Bemisia, but I know not whether we can enter the town itself. Right, another little Bruce. We'll figure it out when we get there. Jesus, anything's better than this rain. This everlasting rain. Why must it always rain? Why has it never rained here? I can't believe I whined about the rain. It has been sunny for like four days on end. <laughs> when will summer end? Oh, God. My mind doesn't work in summer. I can't make reviews in summer. I'm too warm. My, my head just melts. I need the cool air. I'm like a troll. The colder my brain gets, the faster it works. I need to go and s sit in the Pope Futures warehouse and write my next review. Oh, anyway. Yup, Terry Pratchett. See, I'm, I'm doing it again. Here's a reference. And now, the other Moogle is going to tell you where it's from. Alright. So yeah, let's enter this sandstorm. It's like Clearer's Trunk. Yeah, the interesting thing is, um, if you've ever played Final Fantasy V, um, oh my god, what's it called? It doesn't matter. Anyway, there's an area in the desert, and um, uh, Kuja's theme, you know, um, Immoral Melody, it's taken directly from the desert area in Final Fantasy V, the theme for that. You can really hear it in the background. I remember when I played it, I was like, whoa, my god. So, yep, there's our objective. And we're all the way down here. You know, as if we haven't already done enough mindless adventuring. No, no. We're going to make you climb up this giant tree. It's like the ultimate way to stop invaders. Hooray! Huh. This tree's a pussy compared to one that we see later. If you if you know what I mean. Huh? 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 You know what I mean? Huh? Referencing? Huh? 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 Okay, enough of that. Now, press this lever and you'll open that vagina door. Ha 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 ha! And the vagina door opens. Now, let's go in there. Oh, and we arrive in this sandy place, which to me just looks like a palette slot swap. It looks like they've swapped all the whites for yellows, you know, in, um... No, it wasn't a racist remark. It looks like they've sh swapped all the white colours for yellows, uh, like in, um... The Ice Cavern. Anyway, this is the one place in the entire game where I would recommend getting green ma blue magic, because there is one blue magic spell that we want so much. It's going to come in so much handy later on. Let me try and eat it. Learned Matra Magic. Probably won't come in handy, but it's, you know, whatever. I'll show you the one where you'll really need it. Believe me, I don't like blue magic in this game. I'm not going to use it barely at all. It might come in handy occasionally, but there's one spell that will be useful and I intend to use. So, yeah. Ooh, magician shoes. There's also another item on this floor, like, near the back. I can't remember what it is, but we can't get it later if you don't get it now. And I forget to get it now, so I won't get it later. Alright. Oh my god, it's too warm. <gasps> Alright, let me get this treasure chest. Aha, an ether. Awesome. Alright, I'm going to put my hand in this hole. That's what he said. Oh, oh, it's you, Vagina. Alright. Uh-oh, sand's coming. Yeah, you know, it's got an infinite supply of sand in this place. I don't understand why. You know, you think the sandstorm disperses outwards. So yeah, this is where you're going to want to meet the enemy with the one blue magic spell that I really recommend you get. No cock. No, not these. Fucking hell. This! The zoo! Look at that bitch. Oh, FF10 nostalgia for the win! Smack it, Puck. Smack it. Granny Phonic Supersonic. Alright, let me try and eat it. Om nom nom. Oh my god. And yep, it eats you. It's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> all right. But it's okay, because you kill it from the inside. You come out at Men in Black Star, you like pop out of it, and you're like, yes, I ogred it. I know can't eat until it weaker. And you know it's off the ground. Seriously, aerial gourmet. That's the way we eat food these days. Ah, i got cup of tea number 10 in front of me. There we go, white wind. Seriously, the one spell I'd recommend learning. Please, dear God, don't forget. Ah, we get a potion. Very nice, very nice. All right. So, yeah, we can't get back that way now. Because, you know, an endless supply of sand is flowing out. God knows. All right. 
Yeah, we can't get that. Yeah. Nice try, Moogle, though, anyway. Uh, there must be treasure over here somewhere. Alright. And yeah, there's one more enemy that you can get a white, uh, blue magic spell off. What is it? I can't remember what blue magic it is. Oh, it's auto life you can get, and it's called a carrion worm. I unfortunately didn't meet it on the way up, so I just decided to screw it. Alright. I'd recommend you get the auto life one. Not as much as the white wind, because, you know, I mean, there's always the, the always relative phoenix stones. But still, from Atla to Monev, whoop, some strange people came to turn down and destroyed the entire place. What the heck is going on? Whoop, I don't want to see any more pointy hearts. Mon Monev should be careful, too. Maybe you should move elsewhere. Yeah, Monev, move. I mean, what kind of house is that? You have the crappiest house in the world. You live in a tree. I mean, come on. This isn't Fern Gully. Toxic love. All right. Let me save my progress. Ah, level 16. Good God, I've only leveled up twice. All right. Yeah, this is just me looking for another one of those um, Stelazios. And then I realised that there actually isn't one here. I swear I remember the beam on there. Anyway, like, I think it's the Leo or something. Anyway. Hell, it might be. Don't take my word for it. All right, so clear is that way. So let's go this way. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right. Because there's treasure. The flame star. Yeah, there's also... Oh, that's what it is. You know that one um, that was covered in sand, so I could no longer get it? It was the Blizzard Staff. If you get them here, you don't have to buy them when you get to the top. I unfortunately have to buy the Blizzard Staff, but I'm rolling in dough, so I don't give a shit. Alright. Oh, dear God, it's a maze. <sighs> Amazing grace. Desert boots. Boots. Coffin Henry. <laughs> Alright. Mithril gloves. They can take a blow from an ogre. Mithril. Yeah. One does not simply walk into clearer. And I pulled it on the gate shot and then opened somewhere else. That's not important though. The important thing is that the gate shot because now the sand has stopped appearing. Yeah, right now there's like two chests that we can't get at the moment. But we'll get them later with a little optional thing that we're going to do. Aha. Remedy. Awesome. Alright. If you go this way... Yup, you rinse-wind it back there. I mean, what the hell? Alright. Where does the sand come from in this place? Oh, that's right, they pump it up through the trunk, don't they? Yeah, yeah, I remember this now. Alright. A potion! Uh, doesn't mean anything to me anymore. Alright. And... An elixir! Now you're talking. Yeah, so if I didn't pull that lever, I wouldn't be able to get up here because this sand would be flowing. And he'd be like, whoa, I can't climb up a slowly moving pile of sand because I'm useless. Uh, so, yeah. Grab myself some treasure. High post. Very nice. I'm going to try and get across here without being, yeah. It's pulling me in. Mash the X button. Huh. I've played Metal Gear Solid. This kind of button mashing shit doesn't phase me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Ha ha, it's funny because you made a reference to another game, ah, alright. Uh, you know what the hell, I'll just show you what you fight if you get down here. If you get pulled in, you'll fight these gay little scorpions. No, you won't be pulled into like another zone. You know, it's not like a warp pad like in the old Mario games. Oh my god, I'm in level 4-1 already. How the hell did this happen? Alright. We're almost there. We've almost made it up the trunk. Yeah, it looked much bigger from the outside. It's like the opposite of a TARDIS. Alright. Oh, these better not be Gaishai Greens. God damn it, Leroy! Of course, I knew what they were. I wasn't just guessing. Alright. And we made it to Clearer. Awesome!